Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today I'm going to show you how to put together a motor coupling. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jump Man Tech. So let's start by rigging this motor onto its base. Here's a sling. I'm just going to go across here and hook up a chain block. All right, we got that in place. All right, let's calm down. And we're gonna hook this up onto this bolt right here. Come up. And a coupling is a component used to connect the drive shaft to a driven part, for example, a motor shaft and a ball screw for the purpose of transmitting the torque. Also, the coupling introduces mechanical flexibility, providing misalignment for the shafts. Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna sand down the shaft of our motor. We're gonna sand down our locking chuck. And we're gonna sand down the inside of this piece right here. Everything is all sanded down. Notice this little notch here. You're gonna follow that along with this right here. So right above that notch is a locking screw and it's gonna lock down on this piece right here. Just to the side a little bit. And we're gonna slide this in carefully. Right there, we're just about there. We're gonna find the position that we want and we're gonna use this Allen key and lock down on the chuck, which is a flat part of this shaft, so it stays in place. Now that we have this in place, we're gonna pull this motor a little bit back. Not too much, just so we can fit in this coupling. This is made out of neoprene. So let's get that in place. It just fits perfectly in. And then we can move this into place as well. So there's a locking nut screw here and a locking nut screw here. You want, this, want these opposite of each other. So that's gonna go there. And then we slide this into place. But if you look, this doesn't line up, so we have to raise this motor so we can slide this in and lock down our coupling, and we will proceed from there. Right now, we're placing shims under the motor to raise it up so we can level this out a bit so we can close everything down together. So now we're very close, and we're just pushing the motor in place. <laughs> we just push the motor in place. Okay. And we have a coupling put together. We're gonna use a special kit to do the alignment on this motor. It's a digital kit. I'm gonna usually go show you guys a little piece of it. We're now setting up the lasers to balance out this coupling and motor and everything involved. He's gonna plug in his measurements. I wanna balance this out. It's acquiring the value. It's gonna spin that. Go ahead. Acquire that value. It's 
spin that and we're gonna take our measurements all right we got shims underneath the motor and we pushed everything in place everything is together and once we have everything balanced out we can lock down on our locking screws so we had one on this side attaching to the shaft on this end for the pump this is for a pump setup and that's already done so we don't have to do anything and the only thing you got to do to lock this down is to lock down this screw and you're pretty much done the main thing is you want this motor balanced and everything perfect here and that's going to be for a separate video but if anybody found this, this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time